Hey everybody, I'm Lex. I'm Shane from Admin Arsenal. Take 17. My gosh. All right, we're going to go ahead and show you the different types of install files you can use in your install step. This is in free mode of PDQ Deploy. You can uh, obviously create your new package. This is where you would have something like you know Adobe Air or whatever mm -hmm. you want to deploy. We'll just call this my deployment. And uh, the purpose here is to show you that you can not only run EXEs and MSIs, but you can run batch files, Correct. PowerScript shell, or PowerShell scripts, mm -hmm. and VBS files. So we've got an EXE there, but what if we want to run a bat file? We're going to run the bat file. Notice the command how the command line changes. When you when you specify a bat or a CMD file, we're going to run cmd.exe uh, with those parameters, and there you go. Grab that that uh, install file. But what else can you run? Hey, we can do a PowerShell. If you specify a PS1 script, the command line will be changed to the PowerShell with those parameters that are there. Yeah, we built some intelligence in depending on the ex the extension of the file. Absolutely. It'll uh, pre-populate that. If you, if you want to do a, a VBS script, there you go. We're going to call C script. You don't even have to change uh, anything about this. It, obviously, you can always add additional parameters. Any additional parameters that you add, just gets uh, appended right there to the to the command line automatically. Let's see. Oh, reg file. Uh, maybe you have to deploy uh, uh, reg change key. some values. Yeah, in the change some values or, or uh, add or whatever some new values or keys to computers. You have that stored in the reg file. We're going to call regedit with a slash s. So this is uh, just hopefully to uh, make you aware that this is not just deploying MSIs. This is not just deploying um, you executables. Know, yeah, yeah, you can do even MSU, which is similar to an MSI uh, for you know uh, Windows Vista and, Win and Windows 7, Windows 8 uh, patches. Mm -hmm. You know, notice here in this case we'll call WUSA instead of MSI exec, which is called when you choose an MSI. So yeah, maybe it's a lot of information all out the gate, but guess what? You have a lot of options that you can run for the types of files in your install step. And just so you know, if you wanted to change the options on your MSI file, you would do it at the MSI option level. Um, this is where you choose whether you know you'd repair or uninstall, whether you want it to reboot or not. And again, as you change these, you will see the command line changing. Yep. Any additional parameters? Once again, add them at the parameter line. Yes. So, so uh, pr parameters are generally known as properties for MSIs. Mm -hmm. If you have a new property, maybe there's uh, you want to turn off auto updates, and this MSI happens to accept that, you would do something like uh, whatever. The, once again, whatever the uh, property is called that changes per uh, per application, but maybe auto update spelled properly. Maybe you want to turn that off. If you had to do auto update equals zero, notice how that got appended to the command line. Hey Shane, what if I wanted hey, to change the hey, all let's, users? Hey, let's make this natural. All right. If I wanted to change all users to zero, is there a, a, a switch on this? Or Okay, if you want to change, there's a few times you would need to hit custom. Only a few. If you needed to change all users to maybe two, uh, then you would click the custom and go over there and change that. But that's that's fairly rare for the most part. It's an part, edge case, yeah. Yeah, for the most part, you want all users equals one. Um, we've seen a lot of people click custom when they don't need to. They'll click custom literally to add uh, a new pr a new property or a parameter mm -hmm. when really you just need to add that to the parameters field. Yep. All right. So those are the install types that you can use in PDQ Deploy's install step. Rock on. Yeah.